Hello again, everybody. It is your Black Knight. Now, it looks like a good night. It's like we close in on midnight. Good night to try to sneak this puppy through New York. Heading towards Tejas. All right, this is where we get off. Thanks for your help. This is Liberty Police Sigma 18 18 at Planet Los Angeles. I need to land. Now, I haven't decided yet where in Texas I'm going to park the story show. I have decided I'm not going to tell you. But I figured it'd be interesting enough to, to, you know, to see the, the actual get it into Texas. There's usually not a lot of people in Texas. New York's always busy. There may be even some options for me taking it past Texas and hiding it somewhere else. But you know, I was thinking about back in the old days, you know, we wouldn't share where the store ships were. Those, those are highly, highly secretive positions. The mere fact that I showed you that this one was at Woolard Station means it has to be moved. Oh, what's this? It's a rare glitch. Objective reached. Can I keep uh, you know, make sure this guy doesn't suddenly switch to New York? Let's try and speed dock this. Just to get back and practice. Dock, dock in use. Entering it wasn't you. much of a speed dock because you had to wait. But we're at zero meters. I mean, that was kind of the point. It's an interesting thing because on the one hand, New York is the system for beginners. Okay, that was a great sp uh, speed dock except for the lag. My internet has not been happy as of late. I could wait around for this. It usually pops pretty quick too, but just one technique, the more you know, realistic thing. Is to leave any potential issue. And keep a move on. And of course, that's Dog. more visually interesting. Again, that would normally just go bing and then you'd zip it right along. But. Objective Seems like when I hit these, I get a burst of light. Freelancer Alpha 1 1. I'm scanning your cargo for contraband. You're not hauling what I'm looking for. Yeah, no cargo, just a whole bunch of weapons. Lots of, lots and lots of weapons.
Anybody popping in? No, Blackthorn is comfortable in Sigma 19. You can say, well, he's always over there. He can't just zip over. He can switch to a different character at a moment's notice, and usually everybody keeps one in New York. I, I don't have one on this character, but on this, on this, um, how we want to put it. On this registry file, because that's that's kind of you, you can change around using registry files, so that you've got a different set of data, as opposed to what we used to do is logging into the computer on ten different accounts. You still need to do that if you want to swap between character between registry accounts. You have to log in on two different. You can log into the game in two different places. Or in two different kind of swap, you know, log out, you know, switch user and then do stuff. It, it's doable. In use. Entering haven't done that and haven't had a need to do that in ages. This is annoying. Come on. Let us in the gate. I'm sure there's a jump hole if I really needed to. May of 2003, over 19 years. I'm calling it 20. 20 year old game. It's still pretty. You seem like you could use some help. I have one in my sight, taking a shot. Although I'm set for Plant Houston, probably not going to be where we end up. As a matter of fact, I think uh, we can do the time warp again here. Okay. And we're back. It's actually been several days. Maybe a couple of weeks. I'd have to look at the dates on the files. Since uh, they'll probably be in the description somewhere on the line. Since I've since I've played this. But here I have an eagle here at Honshu. And I have set myself up a path to take this back to New York. Cause it's good to have just a you know, ship to cruise around New York with and Potentially PvP. Now back this is in Kasari Police Suzuki three to freelancer Alpha two dash one. I'm commencing a scan on your cargo bay for contraband. Well, you're clear. I didn't find anything. And I'm not carrying anything. The cargo holds on the fires are too small to even bother with. You know, just gives you headaches. But at any rate, you know, usually New York is one of the places you can hang out, okay. chat with new players, and if you're recruiting, then that's that's a good place to hang out. Hook people up, hook people up with stuff. But the um, you just help out new players. The uh, but it's all also is a common place for PvP, friendly PvP, usually. You have to get down to the Omegas, where it was usually, you know, kind of Freeport 9, where that was, you know, PvP whether you liked it or not. I don't know if they still do that. Objective This will be a little bit of a drive, but you can see a lot of... How really kind of pretty they've made uh, Kusari. It's, it's, it's this is Naval Forces Botan 19 at Freelancer Alpha 2 1. I'm scanning your cargo for contraband. Not anymore, you're not. 
Um, it's interesting how they kind of make it very delicate and a lot of pastel kind of colors. And yeah, it's it's you know I think the you know, the third highest the third the third level up on difficulty not the third highest but the third well maybe if you count back down it is but Object and the ships are pretty good I think when I played when I played through the the vanilla you know single player game. By the time I got my Kusari ship, uh, that's what I kept for the end of the game. I never, I never did, you know, save up the money and, and go through the trouble of uh, of getting a Rhinelander ship, which should have had heavier armor, heavier guns, and all that kind of stuff. The Kusari stuff's good enough, you know, for the for single player. I mean, after you finish, after you finish, you can still get ships. You can still explore and do all kinds of things. You do trade, get yourself a trading ship, and do all the things you can do online if you really want to. But you can only have one ship, so. I wonder if you can change your ship out and then do the same thing with this where you're changing accounts where it would it would change. I don't know. I've never tried that. If I'm playing Freelancer, I'm going to be doing the same things online as, offline as I would online. So, why not do it online? Uh, I also wouldn't uh, recommend trying to do the single player game with the flu mod installed. You will get eviscerated by the... Uh, but the guns of the of the battleships and everything else like that, and the bases, they have been upgraded here. By a lot. Let's see, should we land on New Tokyo? I think we should. It's a very similar uh, layout to Manhattan, where you've got the same kind of base. Just outside the planet. Well, I think there's two bases in there, right? Yeah, like that. You are now to land. There's a couple. This is true. It was really true back in the old days. I think everyone's pretty chill now. Again, right now I'm playing. It's like 8 o'clock on a Friday morning. Settled in 5 AS. New Tokyo. AS, 0 AS is when the, uh, the, co the colony ships arrived in Sirius. Or after Sirius. Tokyo is the capital of the Kusari Empire and, with nearly 200 million people clinging to its scattered islands, its most populous planet. Despite, or perhaps because of, its this crowding, Tokyo is a vibrant world with centuries of history and some of the most advanced technologies in the colon technology in the colonies. It is also a culture in transition as bureaucrats and corporations wrestle with the best ways to manage the rapidly increasing pace of change. To accomplish this difficult task, the Gusari ruling body, the Shogunate, works closely with the corporate Kiretsu, such as Sumura and Kishiro, to advance the interests of the Empire while safeguarding the heritage of the Kusari people. So a very, very capitalist society here, and perhaps not necessarily a, a democratically, you know, capitalist society. They're, they're telling people what to do. But look how, you know, for, 
for 2003 graphics, this is pretty wild. You, know, you gotta remember, at this point in the game, humanity has been here colonizing these worlds for over 800 years. Yeah, I love how you can see all the, the, the you know, the vanilla ships. There's a, there's a, an armored transport taking off. No, there's a humpback. So it's it, they're they're presenting it like this is a real hub for a lot of you know, you know, different people in the colonies. There goes a British ship. But we'll keep a move on. Sorry, police. Matsu Zero to DSC Red Stop. Four Dash Two. I'm scanning your cargo bay for contraband. This is Mogosha OG Eight Dash Eight to Planet New Tokyo. I want to land. It's so funny to me. I used to have all of these routes so memorized. Now I need to use the, all right, the little purple thing. Reached. I'm trying to think of what I should do in game because there, there doesn't seem to be a lot of PvP yet when I get a chance to uh, to play, and I'm probably not any good at it. In all honesty, you know. I'm thinking I have to do some more trading. Well, I don't have to, but trading would be a fun thing to do. And I'm, I think there's actually systems I haven't seen yet, so there's a good bit of exploring that I need to do because they've added stuff since I've played regularly. I do have... What was the name of that ship? Oh, it's, it's the, the, the super upgraded uh, Patriot. I'll show it to you. I think that's another video. Oh, it's not... It, they, they added a ship to the game. It's, it's based on one of the smallest, cheapest ships you can get in, in Liberty. But what they did was they doubled the cruise engine speed and gave it a cloaking device. I have that somewhere. And if you're just going to go around and, you know, check out the map, that's the one to, to get. You can you can hit that, hit the cloak, get out of the, any kind of trouble. You can't fight anything. But you can sneak in and out. Object. It had a name like that, Intruder or something like that. Infiltrator, something with an eye, I think. Should we have stopped at Uno? Eh, let's just keep it moving on. We'll get there. Objective reached. Blood dragons. See, I could blast them and then get some of these things potentially. And who are they fighting? Ah, just police. The dragons and the police. Closing them down. The police are outgunned here. <laughs> but they, you know, they have the more maneuverable ship. It's an interesting balance they do here with stuff. I think the blood dragons will finish the game and then the single player. Objective 
I will go through the single player again, but then I'd have to uninstall the mod and blah blah blah, and then you don't want to break everything. I could do it on a laptop. I mean, the laptop should have more than enough horsepower for it. This is Naval Forces Hagi 17 bit Freelancer Alpha 2 1. I'm scanning your cargo bay for contraband. You're clean. And we're going to jump this in here while I attend to a quick real life interruption. Okay, is there a base here? No. Dog. So if you look here, this is just a quick, short system kind of takes you in between, you know, in between Kusari and Liberty. By the way, generally speaking, if you're going to do that, where you're going to walk away for a little while, uh, it's best to land somewhere so that you don't you don't lose all of your progress. Because if I get blown up, then it ends up being you uh, you go back to where you, know, you last landed. The Raiden Bend. There is probably stuff to explore here. Yeah, we could we could go into the you know, if you look at the, the maps here. There are jump holes and things going on. And probably some stuff out in the cloud. And we can always zip back out and check that out. But Trade lane disrupted. Okay, well we really don't you can just fly through that. We don't need to... And if I engine kill, I can mostly maintain my forward speed okay. by having to hold the thruster. And then... Speed dock. Yeah, it's a little early. Not bad, though. So now we get to call back to Colorado, and Colorado yeah. is Liberty Space, so. <laughs> I bumped a counter maybe. That's what I want to do. It's the next button. Docking lights are on. Yeah, 
You are you are vulnerable when that's happening. When you you dock, if someone's there blasting at you, you will explode. You have to be careful when you do these things. Dock. I do want at some point to get on here on really on a Friday night. I don't think it's going to be this Friday. Night. <laughs> I'd like to be this Friday. Night. And really see how things are going. Get, you know, I'd be complete cannon fodder for some PvP, but that's the only way to get good. I definitely need to get good again if I'm ever going to play this game on the regular. Do, do, do. I, and you know, one way to play this game, and I, I really, I think I have a, a character too that will do this, is that you can cruise around with a hot rep, where you, you have a, a genuine reputation, where the, the police will come after you, or the, or the criminals will come after you, and then you just blast the crap out of them. It's a lot of fun. Most of my ships are PvE, you know, PvP oriented, as opposed to, you know, would be PVN versus the NPCs. It's been a while. Let's land on Colorado just to make sure that we don't land Denver, rather. Something weird happens. You blow up. And we're almost home. Let's just. Your request to land is granted. Proceed to land. Well, the autobuy is working, okay. <laughs> kind of. I think this is part of the fact that I've got, I'm running a high def mod, so it might have compressed some things here. But, uh, yeah, the mountain just ends right there. That's, that's funny. Patriot, Star Trek, or Ryan. It's the Patriot that, that the, the, you know, the other ship's based on. Miner, smelter, shipyard workers, but these industries eventually collapsed at 800, and 600 AS 200 years ago. With the declining long-term water situation in the California system, however, the wealthy elite of Los Angeles began to look elsewhere for a vacation spot and found Denver's rough, beautiful, beautiful vistas to be ideal. Immigration from Los Angeles and Manhattan injected new life into the Denver economy, reviving the, the plant even as new upper class assumed control of the local government. Today, Cryer Pharmaceuticals remains, uh, maintains a major research lab on Denver, while Ajira Technologies has plant-sized headquarters to oversee its interest in the system. Liberty Police is well paid by Colorado's new elite to handle security. All right, well... It's amazing how they built like an entire history into this that you're stepping into. It's so far removed from, you know, earthly things. Okay, so we don't have any damage, really, except that. They put a lot of effort into the Liberty Systems as far as how they look and stuff like that because they knew a lot of people, this might be where they spend a lot of their time. So you can get all kinds of jobs. Bounty hunters, Liberty Police. Everybody's got a name. Sergeant Barney Tolock. Someone was proud of that. Ch 
come up with an entire book, you know, the Tolok series. About all the things happening to Sergeant Barney Tolok. Anybody in New York? No. We just passed off uh, on Alain. We could have gone through Magellan. We ended up going through Kepler. But that's okay. We will have at this point snugged up the map here, and then this will make this final connection here. There's Magellan. Let's let's Kepler, and there's Galileo. Where's Magellan at? I could say I'm, I'm, I'm mixing up Kepler and Galileo with Magellan. Where did Magellan go? It's out on the. Is this one where it's... Yeah, there it is. It's it's in this, the Cortez-Magellan uh, bypass. Going between California and, and uh, Manchester. Okay. That's where he's at. Okay. Dog. It happens. Deals in the game can kill you. Over and over and over. That's the nice thing about video games. You know, you can get killed over and over again. And here we are. This is, of course, largely already explored. There's definitely a jump hole there, though. Once we land this on, uh, on Newark Station, because that's where its home is going to be. Yeah, we'll check that out. And then wrap it up, because I mean, I think this is probably starting to get to be a pretty long video for just driving around. <laughs> We'll call it just driving around. That's just what it is. The game is great if you're a, a collector or explorer. There's just so much to do and get. Mostly free of stress. Mostly. Ah, lane hackers? Ah, oh, the rogues. I wonder how many names are in this game. Because you never. I don't think I've ever seen like, the same guy. I'm like, oh yeah, it's, that's that Victor Leslie again. No, it doesn't, doesn't come up. I think we can. We can lose the trade, the, the waypoints at this point. Kick the cruises in. This is Liberty Police Sigma 10 bit freelancer Alpha 2 1. I'm scanning your cargo bay for contraband. This is our stop. Thanks for your help. This is DSE Black 5 5 to Planet Manhattan. I need to land. Oh. 
Understood. Your request to dock is granted. Coming live. You're clean. This is Newark Station. We see you on our scanners. Submit your designation. Now you might say, why Newark Station? Why not Plant Manhattan? Surely there's a lot more to do. This is Liberty Police Sigma 10 bit bounty hunters black three death. Well, number one, I think I used to role play. This might even be in some of the uh, the neural nets that I wrote back in the day. I have to get that. I have to get that website rebuilt. I might work on that some some part of today. But I used to role play having an office here before we really had a system or anything like that. You know, base just had an office. It was like kind of like kind of like you're a PI and you just had an office. This is Liberty Police, Delta 12 to Freelancer Alpha 2-1. You will submit to a cargo scan. I'm right here. You're all clear. Nothing unusual. But you see what I'm doing here, just kind of sitting here on the flat part of Newark Station. Many, many hours has been sent here, you know, spent here just uh, sitting with other players, chewing the fat. Watching people PvP each other, you know, just around here. Station. Armor just rip yourself up to the edge so you can see a little better. Pew 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 pew. Then you jump off, it could be your turn. And Very relaxing place. A lot of good memories. Let's see, what the last thing we said we were gonna do. Oh, it's already... No, that's, a, that's that. Where is the... Uh, yeah, here it is. Let's find out what jump hole that is. Go to. Cruise around Manhattan. Still remember the days when we owned this system. This was this was a base system at one point. I don't know that there is a, a Blues Brothers path here where I get the get get the band back together. You know, I think I'm the only one still playing. Oh, so the last update of the mod back in 16, wow. 2016. Which, when you consider that was 13 years after the game was released. Again, there's still some systems I haven't seen in here, so. Interesting! Rochester Base! Forgot about that one. We're neutral, so we can go there. Doc. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. We've received your transmission. Rogue screen 15. What is your destination? The little rogue base. Class unknown, all this unknown. Not too much here in the way of, of stuff that you'd want. You could get artifacts for 1200 but I think they're, they're going to be only a little bit more on, on Manhattan. So is this a Junker base or is it a Rogue base? Junker base. Where there's Junks, there's Junkers. 
They've, always, they've been around since the earliest days of the trade lanes. Descended from the working classes, they developed within the house systems as a sort of necessary evil, handling the dirty work that no one else would. They do well salvaging valuable materials from the ever-increasing debris fields throughout Sirius, with the noble exception of Kusari. To this day, they remain held at bay by the, by the Hogosha. Anyone who deals with junkers knows they live by a strict code. If you're not a junker, you're not part of the family. A junker will double-cross you without a second body, and they're fiercely protective of each other. Most house corporations consider the junkers to be simple criminals, but junkers will occasionally do favors for the police, turning in the odd mid-level criminal or letting them know about the occasional drug shipment. So despite some harassment, the police stop short of shutting them down. The infrequent police cleanup operations are a little more than exercises in public relations, though there's no love loss between the two groups. The Junkers make their official money from salvaging debris from within the fields, but also have a good deal going with various criminals who like their no-questions-asked policy. Tolerated by the governments, Junkers sometimes deal with contraband, but they are extremely hard to catch red-handed. They are frequently patronized by the criminal element for the refuge they offer within the often hostile territory of house capital systems. Liberty has two groups, a major population in the New York system and a smaller enclave in Texas. The Junker base of operation in New London is located near the shipyards within the South Afton debris field. They're telling you a lot here. You could go around to, you know, if you're, if you're a new player. In New Berlin, they, they scavenge the remaining pockets of industrial waste and scrap within the asteroid fields. Their latest foray is a departure, a base in the border worlds. Attracted by ALG Operation Sigma-13, they set up shop near the facility and do most of the, dirt, their, of the dirty work, picking off the best loot from the old ships for themselves. It also serves as a convenient launching port for carmine and, and artifact runs into uh, New Berlin. Long-distance smuggling is new for the faction, which is still perfecting the skill. So, it's a junker base. Okay. What could you get here? Bloodhound. Not really worth getting. Unless you're a really early player. Or if you're role-playing. A lot of people will take lower-level ships just to role-play. And fool around. I, I'm sure I have some. I don't think I have a Bloodhound, though. The nice thing about Junker Base is usually you can get yourself like a, a Zoner's rep boost and stuff like that. Easily get your rep fixed up here in, in many different directions. Yeah, see, that's probably... And I'll, I'm, I've got a neutral rep, but... There's a way of doing it through co console commands now. You have to start... You basically you have to pay... You have to get a million dollars on a character and then pay to get a neutral rep, and then it starts you over with a brand new ship and a neutral rep. So generally what you do is you build up the money on right, another ship. Objective. And then you transfer it over, because there's a banking system. Which, by the way, important tip. Right, let's, let's target New York Station. Why am I in caps? So as long as you have some money in your bank account, then your characters will stay alive. Otherwise, you have to be playing it every so many weeks. But that was a, that was an old trick. I would be heartbroken if I lost all my ships. So I do have banks, you know, money in all the banks. But you can transfer money up and transfer money down, you know, within your character. And there was a way of send, you could send money to other players too, so you could set them up. That's just the send command. No, it was how do you do that? It's part of the bank. Is there a bank transfer? Bank withdraw, balance, deposit. How do we send money to people? No, we did it. Three percent. So, yeah, was that how it always was? Oh, we're targeting the, the, the Manhattan docking ring. We don't want that. 
It's close, but no banana. I could just crash myself into the planet, but that, you know, from an RP perspective. That is what you do when you have to do the large transports. You, you, you can only have them docked at one place. So you take the large, when you have, when you buy a large transport for 75 million. As I recall. Dock. What you do is you fly to the planet, you dump all your stuff into space, tractor it in with a, uh, like an armored transport and sell everything on the planet. It takes several trips. And then, just crash it into the planet to go back. It's, it's an interesting thing. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock two. I think it's time to settle this puppy into Newark Station and call it a day, folks. I hope you've enjoyed cruising around and kind of reminiscing and talking about Microsoft Fle Freelancer here. Or Freelancer. Microsoft Freelancer. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed our trips. And we'll see. And, you know, <coughs> if I can think of interesting and, and creative ways to play the game that you might find something watchable, then we'll, we'll do more of these videos. We'll see how it goes. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.